I tell you, that Triple D commute will kill you. That must have been 100 feet I did from Gabino's Crapery. Anyhow, here to check out another joint in Palm Springs. Let's see, how's the story go? A guy from Guadalajara wants to have a better life, moves to the United States. Gets here, finds a restaurant, buys it, gets married, has kids, brings family recipes, and he's been doing it for 37 years. That's the real deal. And this is El Marisol. This is the only place we go to for Mexican food in town. Chile relleno goes with the salsas. The ingredients are fresh. They make their own sauces. And it's been legit since you started coming 20 yes, years ago. Yes. The food here is very similar to my hometown. Probably because Felipe Castaneda and his wife, Lisbeth, have been serving up authentic recipes from their hometowns for decades. What type of Mexican food is this? Zacatecas, Jalisco region. OK. North Central. Uh, our food is not too heavy in spices. What are the key dishes? The pollo and pipián. Pipián on the pollo. I've had the pollo and pipián many times. You can taste the pumpkin seeds, the spices. They always come with some nice rice and beans. It's really good. OK, chef, what are we making? Pollo and pipián. So chicken and pipián is the? Pumpkin seeds. We start with the chicken. Water, garlic. Tomatoes, onion. And yeah. then chicken breast, bone on, skin on. For flavor. The salt. And how long are we going to let this cook for? An hour, 30. What is the next step? The pipián sauce. Toast de guajillo. Then the chile de árbol. Of course, it's the spicy. The California. And is the pipián sauce more like a mole? Yes, it is. Toast them around until we start coughing and sneezing. You can smell them right now. Now we soak the chilies. Next, pumpkin seeds. These are more delicate. Got to keep an eye on it. The smell tells us yeah, it's when, when it's time to go. Pumpkin seed with the shell. They take a bit longer. Right. And then the blue corn. The way he does it. So we have the chiles now rehydrated with water. Some chicken broth. And this is the stock that we cook the chicken in, correct? Correct. Let it go crazy. We put the oil. Cook that off like a steam bath in Flavor Town right there. Chicken broth. The pumpkin seeds and the blue corn, are those going to get mixed with some water? Some chicken stock and water. Yes. And then puree that. We thicken it with the seeds and the corn. How long will it cook? 30, 35 minutes. What are we making? Salsa or the Mexican rice. We start with tomatoes, garlic, salt. Onions, OK. Water. And bye-bye. Now we go with the rice. Stir the rice until it gets kind of a brownish color. That's what's going to make it nice and flaky. Add the salsa. Chicken stock? Cook 30, 35 minutes. Now we're going to play the pipián. OK. Beans to the salamander. Doing it old school right there. Shred the chicken okay. into the hot chicken broth. Coming over hot. Look at that rice. nice flaky rice like that. And the chicken. I can't wait to try this. Pipián? This sauce is going to be legit. What is this here, chef? Salsa Doña Diabla. We do that from scratch. All right. Good looking tortilla. The freshness of the tortilla is really good flavor. The chicken is tender. The Diablo. Hello. The sauce is hot. And the pipián, it's got the flavor of the enchilada, but the richness of the mole. Outstanding. The rice is nice and light and flaky. The beans are creamy and silky. That's got to be something you could serve to your mom. I mean, legit. Pollo pipián right here. Pollo pipián tastes a little spicy, but really good. Their chicken is outstanding. Every place in Mexico, they got different type of rice. This is the right rice. 